is the Random 30. <laughs> Order. With Mikey. Well, I can say she keeps giving us hit after hit. And joining us from LA, BB Rexa, how are you? Good, how are you? I am so good. Thanks so much for joining us again. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. So much to talk to you about. Loving the new single. We'll get to that in a sec. But firstly, congratulations. Your very first iHeartRadio award for Meant to Be. I know how. How cool, right? That was really cool. That is so happy. good. Actually, we had Florida Georgia Line in the country uh, last week. They might be still here, actually, but they were here in Cairns. A friend of mine went, and they said they were amazing. So I know it's been it's been so awesome, and it's been a whirlwind. So that's that was really definitely a, a cool post for me. So and it, I was really happy. It's still a huge song too, in 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 you know in the country world too. It's just amazing. Um, before I talk to you about your new single, Last Tourah, take us behind the scenes. What's been happening since our last chat? Writing my album, um, just you know, really focusing on that and trying to make it the best music that I've written for myself, and yeah. um, about you know, doing tons of promo for the song and shooting videos and covers and just tons of you know, award shows and a lot of amazing things. Are you getting much time, a downtime at the moment, or it's just go 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 at the start of the year? Um, it's go go go. Yeah, I, I had a second, I had a second to chill, and now um. I'm going like I'm going, you know, 100 miles an hour. Yeah. Or, I don't know however you guys say it, but. And your new single, Last Hurrah. Uh, before I talked about that, uh, it goes well with cutting a watermelon. It that's amazing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm talking about what you posted on Instagram. I lost it my when I was watching me. it. My mom called me. She's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and I was like, "I was, I was like, I was cutting a watermelon, and I just like was listening to my song, and I recorded myself cutting it a watermelon." She's like, <laughs> she's like literally like. Like weird, and I was like, "Thanks, mom. I love you too." Yeah, thanks, mom. Thanks. Can I tell you, next time I cut a watermelon, I will never cut it the same again. You should cut it. You should cut it listening to my song. I will. And and and, and, and yeah, with a big knife. All right, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get a watermelon and I'm gonna cut it to your song. I a deal. That's that's it. Hey, quickly too. Amazing. Say my name. Oh my god. Uh, it's been my song of the week for the last two weeks. I cannot get enough of it. What a great piece of work, David Guetta, Jay Balvin and yourself it's it's so awesome you know working with Jay Balvin and Geta I have, I, have, I have such a cool connection with Geta especially with Hey Mama and a whole bunch of stuff that we've been doing he even just did a remix for Last Parade it's unbelievable yeah um, we haven't put it out yet but you know being able to work with him and Jay Balvin it was so fun and shooting the video and recording the song it was just an incredible process like it was it was just a blast I lo- I'm loving that style of music at the moment where they get that Latin, the bit of electronic and the, um, you know, David Guetta has done some amazing things as we know, but I'm loving that style of music. And then when I heard this for the first time, oh yeah. So it's been my song of the week for the last two weeks and I cannot get enough of it. Uh, it's amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now let's talk about the single, Last Hurrah. Uh, before I get to the video clip, tell me about it. Is this about you personally? Because the lyrics... Uh, I'm done with drinking. I'm done with smoking. What's what's going on? I just feel like you know everybody has their vices. Yeah. And um, it was funny because the song um, was actually inspired by one of my co-writers. Um, she was at home the night before, and she was supposed to be on like on a diet, you know, no sugar diet. Yeah. And she went and cut and got herself a cut herself a big piece of chocolate cake. And her husband was looking at her and he was like, "What are you doing?" And she's like, "I'm eating cake." And he's like, "But I I thought you were on a diet." And she's like. No, baby, this is my last hurrah. And I was like, and she told me the story, and I was like, oh my God, we have to write a song called Last Hurrah. It's literally every wow. single day of my life. And um, and we ended up putting, like, you know, about whether it's like you can't stop smoking that last cigarette or um, going out and partying or going back to your ex or anything that might be a bad habit. That's what the song is about. Did she finish the cake, by the way? Um, did she? Oh, man, you don't even know. Every time we're in the studio, yeah. yesterday, I wrote with that collaborator yesterday, and we had literally six bags of chips in the studio. So we did definitely <laughs> not. Yeah. But you need some sugar, I suppose, you know, to get there. Woohoo! Let's go again. Uh, so I guess it's okay if you don't do it every day. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Now the video. Whoa. Um, it's like watching a, a big action-packed movie. I, I was, um, I wanted to do, like, when I was little, my dad was always telling me, like, we have a good angel and a bad angel watching over us. Yeah. So every time we did something good, um, it would be, like, a good deed, you know? And then every time we did something bad, it would be a sin. 
So I wanted to play off of that. And I think that's that's human nature. You know, none of us are perfect and we all make mistakes. And, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think, that, I think the, the background of the, video, the meaning of the video is like, don't send other people because they judge, don't, don't judge other people because they send differently than you. Yeah, I understand. Now, you mentioned the album earlier. When are we going to expect that? Probably like um, late summer, early fall. I'm just, it depends yeah. on how fast I finish it. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm like, I'm like, 60% there, um, but I'm just, I'm super picky and I know, I just want to put out great music. Yes, of course, and, and and we are behind you with that. Now, when are we going to have you back in Australia? Because it's been a little while now. I think I actually booked something, I actually <gasps> just, we added something just in the schedule, so, okay. but I'm not going to say it just yet, but I think, I just saw my schedule recently, so actually soon. Whoa, okay. All right, so can you, can you give us, is it in the next few months or end of the year? Yes. Oh, yes! Probably in the next oh, month, that's good. Month, not, you know, give me a little second, but I'll yeah. be there. Oh, that is so awesome. One, one thing I wanted to ask you, you have a lot of people, and, and I talked to some young people here in, in Australia about it, you inspire a lot of people with your career and your music and stuff. What advice do you have for, you know, people who want to be like like you? Um, I would just say, like, I, I just feel like I, I just... I'm really lucky to be able to do what I do, you know? So yeah. I, I do think it is luck. And so I, I, I just try to be the realest to me every day. And I try to work hard. I mean, everybody works hard. But I think, I've, I think I'm think i honestly just blessed to be able to do what I do. So yeah. I feel like if you have a... Just try to be the realest you. Because I feel like people really um, connect with that. You know, I think people can tell when you're not being real or authentic. And I feel like more than ever now, people want that. You yeah. know, we don't want any more fake stuff. Yeah, absolutely. That is so awesome. You said you before you were driving. Where where are you going today, or what's the plan? What's on your schedule? Um, I was actually at um um an uh, an Apple the beat you know Apple Music yeah there, just there and and doing tons of promo and and so I'm on my way back driving, but the traffic in LA is so bad. It's like an hour and thirty minutes just to get back to where I live. It's crazy. Really? What would it normally take in, in LA for that for that trip? Um, like. Like, like a real amount of time, like for real, probably 15 minutes. Wow. Whoa, that's a lot of traffic. Yeah, can you believe that? Yeah. It's insane. The traffic is insane. Yeah, traffic's not much better here in Oz either. BP, it's so good having you back on the Random 30. Your new single, Last Tarara, is amazing. We'll put it up on our website at random30.com.au. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting me, and I can't wait to get back and hopefully take in person. We cannot wait. That'll be awesome. Let's organize it. I'm down. I'll be there whenever you need me, I'll be there. Excellent. Thanks so much, BB. All the best. Thanks, Mikey. This is the Random 30. (laughs) (laughs) The Countdown. In no particular order. With Mikey.